Well, thank you. I'm Gary Wakeford. I'm Chief Executive Officer for Sonistic. And if you don't remember anything else from this presentation, if you just remember this one statement, get it right the first time. We help clinicians get it right the first time. If you remember that and only that, you will know who we are and what we do. Now, we are focusing on the intravenous catheter market. A lot of people don't realize this, but it is the most commonly done medical procedure in the world. Over 340 million IVs placed every year in the US. And if you look at the patient uh, sitting on the bed, the one about to get stuck, look at that look on her face. That's the person we're trying to help, and I'll show you how. I mean, she's obviously concerned there. <laughs> because she knows she's gonna be a pincushion in the next couple of minutes. 15% of the IV patient market fall into this category that are known as divas, and it's the perfect acronym. Every, you know, what comes up to your mind when you think of diva? Well, in this instance, it stands for difficult intravenous access. It can, 15% of 340 million patients, that's 50 million patients that we can help right out of the gate. But in these patients, it can take four or five or six sticks and they may not even get it. It's, you know, for the patient, uh, every additional attempt becomes more painful. It increases their anxiety and their fear. And failure can ultimately sometimes lead to the placement of a central line, which is much more expensive and much more uh, serious procedure. For the hospital, each additional attempt costs more time and money. Poor patient experience equates to very poor patient satisfaction scores. And if they do have to have a central line placed, you know, when one of the major um, complications with an infect, uh, central line is CLAPSI, central line associated bloodstream infection. $48,000 to treat if and when it acquires. 28,000 people die just in the U.S. from that infection. So we can all agree that's not a good alternative. Enter Sonistic. We have a very simple guide wire introducer that will help to solve this problem to get that access first time every time. It, it literally is simple as one, two, three. When, when they have a diva patient, they will use a portable ultrasound machine. And so imagine this, they've got the portable ultrasound machine on the patient's arm. They have our device, which has the needle and catheter over it. As soon as they advance the wire into the vessel, they literally, in the center there, you see that little track wheel. In the same hand, as soon as they get access, they just advance that track wheel, which advances the wire into the vessel. Once the wire is in the vessel, you are golden. So this is a simple, easy procedure to do that they already get. What I love about this product, when I put it in the hands of a clinician, they look at it, they just naturally start to advance that wire. So we're very strongly positioned for success. We have five patents issued. We have achieved FDA clearance. We have a very strong manufacturing partner in MedSource Labs in Minneapolis. They have a global footprint and contracts in place that they are adding our product to. Very strong medical advisory board of nationally and internationally known key opinion leaders and a very strong management team with experience who have successful exits. Now, uh, we're starting with the peripheral IV market because that's where we think we can do the most help the quickest. But this product, we've already had clinicians, even before we've released it to the market, that have seen it, they're calling us, asking us, can we make this for picks in midlines uh, and even central lines. Now there's a lot of merger and acquisition activity in this market. Here's a listing of just four or five companies that could be very strong strategic partners. And I'm very happy to share that someone from BD, one of the largest IV players in the world, has already reached out to us because they're very interested in what we're doing and they want to learn more. So I'm here to raise $750,000. We are going to use this to get secure initial clinical use and validation, get a handful of accounts on board, add some personnel. Right now you're looking at the whole company. I'm the only full-time employee. Uh, and then after we get a, a dozen or so accounts on board, we will look to raise $10 million uh, in a full-blown Series A round. So the train's leaving the station, and now time to get your ticket is now. Would love for you to come along. Thank you.